In this video, we are going to look at how to derive the names of common benzene derivatives and also how to draw the structures when the names are given. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel after watching so that you can receive every update from this channel. Let's have the structure containing the benzene ring. When a benzene ring is bonded to an external carbon, just a single carbon, the net structure is called toluene. And when a toluene loses one hydrogen, it assumes a benzyl functional group. So here, this bromine has replaced one hydrogen on the external carbon. So the name of this structure becomes a benzyl bromide. Benzyl bromide. Let's look at this one too. Here we have two benzene rings. The first thing to do is look at the structure containing the functional group here. In this structure, the functional group here is the sulfonyl functional group, which is bonded to this benzene. This structure therefore becomes benzene sulfonic acid, which is the parent structure in this compound. Now, this benzyl group, this benzene to carbon is a benzyl group as we saw here is bonded to position 3 with respect to this sulfonyl group. So here is carbon 1 here, 2 and 3. So this benzyl is bonded to the position 3 of the benzene sulfonic acid. So it becomes 3 benzyl benzene sulfonic acid. Or you can use notations which is auto, para and meta. So this position, this here is auto with respect to this. Here is, is meta with respect to this, and here is para with respect to this. So here the name becomes 3, or you can make it M benzyl benzene sulfonic acid. Let's look at this one too. Here, the parent structure here is the one containing the functional group, which is the ketone. This compound, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, these three carbons are what contain the functional group ketone, which is a propanol. Now, this benzene ring is bonded to the carbon 1 of the propanol. On the benzene ring, there exists a metal group. So, here the name becomes, look at this. It becomes one. This one is with respect to the position of the whole of this structure on the propanol. Then, when you take this benzene ring, it has a substituent metal on the benzene ring, which is a third position or the metal position with respect to where the benzene is bonded to the carbonyl carbon. So here is one. This one is with respect to where the benzene is bonded to the propanol. Three metal. This three metal is with respect to where the metal is positioned on the benzene ring. Phenyl. So this three metal, this metal is on the third position of the phenyl. Then you close it. One or propan. Propan one on. That's how the name becomes. One. This one is with respect to where the benzene or this one is bonded to the parent structure, propanon. Then on this structure we have three on the third position we have metal group of the benzene ring, and this is a phenyl. A phenyl is just a benzene ring. Then propan 1 on, propanon. The one here shows that the functional group is on the first position of the propanon. Let's have this one to here. The parent structure is this one, which is benzaldehyde. And this phenyl is at the para position of the benzaldehyde. So here it becomes P, or you can make it 4, phenyl, benzaldehyde.
Let's have a look at this one too. Just very similar to this one. This one, the whole of this is on position one of the proper noun. So it becomes one. This one is with respect to the position of the final group on the proper noun. Then on the final, we have one, two, three. On three and five positions, that's where we have the two bromines. So it becomes one with respect to where the final is bonded to. Then three, five, dibromo. Now, the whole of this represents the substituent propan one on. Propan one on. Let's look at this one too. This year, this one is an ester. This side is the alcohol side, which is named as ethyl. Then this side it becomes a benzoate, but the benzoate has a phenyl group, so it becomes ethyl three phenyl benzoate as an ester. Let's have this one. This one, the parent structure here is benzoic acid. Having a benzyl at position 3 and a metal at position 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here this one is named as 3 benzyl five metal. benzoic acid so that's how to, to deduce the names of common benzene derivatives now let's see if you are given the, the names and we are being asked to the structures how we are going to go about it we have here metal cyclopentane carboxylate so the pair structure here is cyclopentane carboxylate Whenever you see this one, it is an ester which is outside a cycloalkene ring. So here is cyclopentene carboxylate. It's drawn as this. A 5 mmHg ring contains the carboxylate group. Then there is a metal. So this one is metal cyclo and tin carboxylate. Let's have this one too. We have O bromo ethyl benzene sulfonate. O bromo methyl benzene sulfonate. So the parent structure here is benzene sulfonate. Benzene sulfonate, which is drawn as a benzene ring. with a sulfonate group. So this is a benzene sulfonate. Now on the O position of the benzene sulfonate, which is here or here, we have an ethyl, which is having a bromo. So it is going to be drawn like this. Them. Here is 1 and here is 2. So this side is the ethyl which is at the O position of the benzene. Then the bromo is 10 here. Which is O bromo methyl benzene sulfonate. Let's come here. We have p bromo methyl benzoyl chloride. 
So benzoyl chloride is drawn like this. This is benzoyl chloride. Then at the P position we have bromometal. So the metal will come. This metal, then the bromo will extend. P bromometal benzoyl chloride. Now let's add these structures to we have trans three octane. So an octane is a structure or an alkene containing eight carbons, which is trans at the third position. Trans at the third position. When we have a bond, or let's say when you have a structure around a row bond in which the two carbons are the same side, it is a cis. If they are the opposite side, it is a trans. For example, this one is drawn as so one, two, three. Now on the third carbon, that's where the trans comes. So here, this is trans three octane. Five, six, seven, then eight. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is trans three octane. Let's look at this one too. We have one phenyl trans two six four octadiene. So this one is an octadiene, an alkene with two double bonds. In which one is at position two trans, the, the other is at position four six. So the structure becomes one. Now this is carbon two with the trans configuration of double bond, which will be like this. Then it is three, four. Now this four with a cis configuration of double bond, which is drawn like this. Then five, six, seven, then eight. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now on the first carbon, there is a phenyl, which will be drawn like this. This is one phenyl trans two six four octadiene. Let's look at this structure. How we can draw this one finally. We have xylene as the parent chain. Xylene is a benzene ring with two metal groups. So if this one metal, the other metal can come here to form what you call an oxylene. It can come here to form an m xylene or here to form a p xylene. Now in this structure, we are drawing m xylene. So here, the other metal is at the metal position with respect to the first metal, which is at the third position here with respect to the first one. So the M xylene is like this. Now at the auto position you have a phenyl which is extended like this. So that's how to draw the names the structures of O phenyl M xylene. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe after watching.